So hey guys, see this old type of light? Old fluorescence. It was great technology in its day, but its time has come and gone. Anyway, it's pouring down rain today. Uh, Tropical Storm Debbie's coming through. Today's a great day to do an indoor project. Over the last year or so, I've been slowly going through my house and working on getting things like this upgraded. So anyway, this is a fairly easy project. So let's get this upgraded. So come on guys, and I'll show you how to do it step by step. All right, the first thing we want to do is take a quick measurement, and I've already done it. If you measure the length of this, this is a 48 inch uh, light strip or fluorescent light fixture, and it's about four inches wide. So I want to make sure when I go run to Lowe's, I want to get a fixture that's going to at least be this wide or maybe even a little wider if I can find it. And obviously I need it to be 48 inches long. So guys, let's go ahead to Lowe's. We are on a mission to try to find a replacement light. We're looking for specifically a metal frame. It needs to be 48 inches long and it needs to be about four inches wide, at least minimum, and LED neon strip. And guys, I think that's the one we're looking for right there. And I think this is it here. Let me look at the specifics on the back. It is 48 inches by five and a half wide. And it is LED. So I think we have found our replacement. So we're back from Lowe's and we've got our light fixture to be installed. First thing we need to do is we need to remove this. So first thing you want to do is make sure power is off. Uh, quick note guys, if you've never done anything like this and you're not comfortable working uh, with electricity, uh, just basic wiring, then I would highly recommend just hire it out. You can either try to find an electrician or even uh, there's a lot of guys that just do handiwork uh, that can do this for you and it's usually fairly reasonably priced. But anyway, if you want to tackle this, it's fairly easy. First thing you want to do is make sure power is off to this and then we will start taking the fixture down. First thing we'll do is remove the bulb, the lights themselves. These are just easy to remove. You just kind of spin them until they hit the slot and they'll just kind of drop out on their own. You just kind of have to keep working them until they come out. Pull the cover off. Now you can get access to inside the frame itself. On old fluorescent lines, they have a device in it called a ballast. And the wiring just runs in here. You've got your hot and neutral. And again, we have power off and removed. So we are just going to disconnect. These are just called twist nuts, which are these. All right, I got this side out. This just drops down. And now I can get access to be able to lower the whole frame. So that's what I will do. Wow. <laughs> Guys, that's crazy. Anyway, one down, one to go. The old one is out. One note to be careful is this ballast has a little bit of weight to it. So when you are working above your head, you definitely want to uh, keep an eye out. All I've done so far is just taking everything out of the box. The, it's taped where it makes it really easy for you to pull the cover off of here. Once you do that, there is this little cover here that goes here and it covers the wires. I went ahead and removed that to expose. Uh, I've got my green for ground, black for hot, white is neutral. And right here is my point. I'll bring the house wires in. And then I also went ahead and popped out these uh, little knockouts. This will be how I secure it. And so now I'm ready to go up and put it in place and run my house wires into here. And then I'll work on getting it secured. So that's the next step. 
So guys, at this point, I am mounting it to the ceiling, uh, just hooking it into the sheetrock using screw-in uh, sheetrock mounts. These hold anywhere from 30 to 60 pounds, depending on what size you get. Once I did that, it's just a matter of connecting the wires. This is very straightforward. Just connect black to black, white to white, and green to copper. And once I got that finished and got everything all locked into place, I tested it, it was all working fine. So then it was just a matter of putting the final cover on and it took just getting, uh, using both hands to get it in place. And once that locked in, I was all done. So there you go, guys. Uh, not a hard project to do at all. Man, did it make a big difference uh, going to an LED light. Um, it's so much brighter and uh, this is supposed to last for thousands and thousands of hours. So you pretty much maintenance free. So guys, I hope you're enjoying this content. If you are, please don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe. I sure would appreciate it. And for now, remember here at Project Next, there's always one more. So guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon.